the weekend once again um it was a short work week for some of us who did not work on monday for uh labor day so uh we made it to the weekend once again want to let you know that we are still trying to track this storm and figure out which direction this thing is going to go in irma ain't got no manners so she just doing what the heck she want to do there is a full evacuation for the entire state of florida at this time because the actual storm is going to be wider than the state itself so for my florida people please be careful out there um savannah they're going to evacuate that city as well um my family from the Charleston area was going to come here, but since this morning, the path has kind of changed with the hurricane, which is going to take it straight through central Florida from what it's looking like now. So um, I think my people from Charleston are going to stay put, and we're going to be on a little bit more of an alert over on this side. So um, I want you to know that the Civic Center, the Columbus Civic Center and the Red Cross have teamed up and the Red Cross is over there now setting up cots and different things are going to open up right about 6 p.m. at the Civic Center to house evacuees because our hotels are all booked up around here. People are still trying to get in, into town to find them a place to stay if they don't have family here already. So the Columbus Civic Center will open up at about 6 p.m. to um, accommodate some of those people as well as the Frank D. Chester Center, which is off of um, Victory Drive near the new Walmart over there on the south side. Yes, so the Frank D. Chester Center and the Civic Center are the two places that I am aware of. So please be safe out there, you guys. And um, let's go ahead and get into this entertainment news. Let's go. As you guys are checking in. Shout out to everybody checking in. Carmenisha, Kevin, Jerome. Let's do it. Happy Friday. Hey, Makita. You be safe as well. Thank you. Liz. Oh, you're in South Florida. Jeez. Yolanda, welcome. Let's go. Okay, first half of entertainment news. So Usher is firing back at his accuser, guys. First of all, he's denying all the claims. He says that he did not have sex with any of those people and that he did not expose them to herpes. He accused them of having unclean hands and says that the lawsuit is just corny because his actions were not intentional if... He did give somebody herpes. He's, he was not aware. However, he said if you did assume sexual contact with him, then you assume the risk as well. And that's just the way it goes. Kanye West canceled his New York Fashion Week show. It's mainly because they just didn't have the pieces together in time. He had planned to present his Yeezy Season 6 collection at the show. But Janet Jackson says she ain't canceling those shows, especially the one in Houston. She also plans to visit the shelters while she's there. Little Wayne's manager says that Wayne ain't getting no rest following them seizures. He he told TMZ, I tell him all the time, he's a workaholic and that's what got him to the point that he's at now. He is always in the studio trying to make music, get through the situation and give the fans what they need. As a fan, Wayne, we are telling you to relax your doggone nerves. It ain't that serious. You can't give us no music if you are six feet under. Kim and Kanye surrogate found out a little bit more about this chick. First of all, she's black. She's married. She's been married for five years. She got two sons. She's college educated and she is a Democrat. Don't know what her name is yet, but I'm sure that'll come out. NFLer Antonio Cromati. Well, he's a father for the 14th time. That boy potent. I'd probably get pregnant just talking about this story. But he also snagged a reality show called The Cromatis. Uh, It's going to air on USA on Thursday, November the 9th at 10.30 p.m. And another NFL star, Deion Sanders. Yeah, he's speaking very candidly with no shame about getting his Botox injections. He said, I noticed some frown lines and some crow's feet. And I'm like, I got to do something about this. So I got me some Botox and I feel great. 50 is the new 21. Will you go ahead, Dion? Ladies, would you feel some type of way if your man went and got some Botox? And he's sitting there looking all pretty and you old? <laughs> okay, <laughs> let, me wrap, let me wrap this up with Mike Epps and his ex, Michelle. Uh, they have finalized their divorce, so this is the lowdown. You know they've been married for about 12 years. So he has to pay $25,000 a month in spousal support for six and a half years, unless she remarries, and she ain't going to do that. He also has to pay about fifteen grand a month in child support for the two children. 
Michelle, she's going to actually get royalties from his movies, though. She's going to get royalties from The Hangover, Hancock, Girls Trip, all of that. And she will also keep her 2014 Bentley, the uh, 2013 Mercedes, and the 2013 Land Rover. She got all the cars, don't she? And Mike gets to keep 10 of the properties and all of his sports cars. So that's how that rounded out. Is that fair to you? Uh it's fair to the judge. He the one said it. All right, y'all. Keep it locked here and turn your radios up. Download that TuneIn Radio app so you can keep us on the go. We will definitely keep you informed on the path of Hurricane Irma doing her doggone thing in that ocean. In the meanwhile, I got my DJ setting up. DJ Jelly, DJ Calvin, the coordinator, DJ Super Blue, and, of course, DJ Monte. They're going to tag team on the ones and twos. The Midday Mix is up next. It's the Midday Show. I'm Devon Martino. It's Friday, baby. It's Foxy 105. Yeah. Shout out to everybody checking in. Hey, Yolanda. Jigsaw, what's up with you, Robert? Kevin. Yeah, trying to keep an eye on this storm and trying to keep everybody uh, abreast of what's going on. Once again, the Civic Center is going to open up with six, at 6 p.m. along with the Red Cross and uh, provide some uh, shelter for the evacuees as well as the Frank D. Chester Center on the uh, south side. Um, I gave you that first half of entertainment news. So, ladies, would you have an issue with your man getting Botox? <laughs> I never was a fan of it. I mean, some people may need it. You have some people that just don't age very well, and I can understand what you what you got going on, but I personally am not a fan of all that altering and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? My family aged pretty doggone well. My grandmother looks great for her age, so it's whatever's clever. On top of that, you know, they have admitted that it's nothing but poison that they're ejecting into your face. You know, you got to think about the side effects and the long terms of this thing, man. Then you're going to get mad when you got headaches when you older or when you're behind God. You can't remember nothing because they done inserted. You know, it's just too much. Is it worth it? Is it, I don't know. I just can't. It's whatever's clever. Anyway, second half of entertainment news. Mary J. Blige still cannot stand Ken Do Isaac. She said he's a big old con artist. And uh, basically, she got played and she was suckered. Rihanna's on the cover of Elle magazine. And she's rocking her new Fenty line, you know, that was released this morning. Uh, Lauren Hill, Nas, and Dave Chappelle are on tour. Did you know that? And they've added Nick Grant to their tour. It's called the Powernomics Tour. I don't know what the dates are as of yet, but when that joker comes close to us, it is on. I didn't know that um, Scott Disick had to take a little trip to the psych ward. So <laughs> he lost his damn mind, huh? Lauren Hill's daughter, Sayla Marley, has a new single. It's called Breathe. Fantasia is going to release a Christmas album. She's doing all the hits. Silent Night, This Christmas, Baby is Cold Outside. And CeeLo Green's going to be on the album with her. So, you know, that's going to be dope. Um, Martin Shkreli is selling his Wu-Tang Clan album. It's going to be sold on eBay. He purchased it for $2 million, and right now the bid is up to about $75,000 on that. Amare Stoudemire has reached a settlement with his side chick and his side baby. Um, Beyonce's protege in the Singing Sisters with their gorgeous selves, uh, Chloe and Haley, they're going to appear on that uh, Blackish spinoff, Grownish. That's going to be so dope. And your boy Jimmy Fallon announced that he also donated $1 million towards the Houston Texans player, J.J. Watts, oh, J. J. Wyatt's Hurricane Relief Fund. So everybody's trying to do their part right about now. That's so dope. And did you know that Gap is closing about 200 stores? Gap and Banana Republic over the next three years. When's the last time you bought something from Gap, though? Thank you. So we ain't going to miss out. And if you're local, Pratt & Whitney is starting a $31 million plant addition, and they're going to be doing some hiring over the next couple of years. Over 500 jobs are going to come into the area because of that. So, okay, that's your second half of entertainment news just for tuning in. Appreciate you. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, okay? It's under Divine Martino. I always post all my entertainment news up there, so that way you can go back and watch it if you did miss it. Follow me on all social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Snapchat. It's all under Divine Martino, all right? Thank y'all for tuning in. Shout out to everybody. Leslie, Cornelius, Crystal, Jose, Erica, Blue, Ashley, Luta, Luta. Hey, man. Um, Terry, everybody checking in. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Latanya, everybody, showing me love. You guys rock. Peace out. Happy Friday. See ya.